welcome to this year's ESL um, program graduation ceremony. Um, it's so quiet. <laughs> so, speaking so loudly. Um, thank you all for being here, um, President Sprega and um, ESL teachers and tutors, um, faculty and staff, uh, colleagues of, of ours. Thank you for being here to, to celebrate with us this very important moment. Come on in, don't be shy. Um, in our ESL students' lives. Um, I just, I'm going to say a few words at the end. I don't want to take too much um, time to, at the beginning. Um, so without further ado, I would like to uh, introduce Dr. Jack Sprague to say a few words to our students. Well, hello everyone, welcome, and congratulations. Yeah, we're very proud of you. Uh, uh, you know, something I say always at events like this is that uh, it's a time to pause and reflect on your success, but it's also a time to look forward and uh, plan your future. And I hope that that will include many more <coughs> academic pathways for you as you continue uh, your academic journey, okay? We don't want you to uh, uh, be content with where you are, as nice as that is, and as celebratory an occasion as this is. But we do want you to move forward. Uh, in this day and age, you must have uh, higher education credentials. And uh, I think this is a good place for you to uh, be looking at, uh, at BCC. I know that Libya has uh, made arrangements for you, made options available to you. There are opportunities for you. We're here to help you. And uh, I congratulate you that what you have achieved is uh, not an easy thing. And uh, very proud of you. And uh, I think uh, if you look forward, uh, look backward rather, to the time when you first decided to look into this program, that was to me uh, what I call a heroic decision to move into BCC and to look at, at what offerings this, uh, what, what these offerings could help you. And uh, so I'm very happy that you've done so. And uh, you have some excellent faculty and staff here who have uh, been provided support for you. They will continue to provide support for you. You're part of our BCC family. And anything that we can do in the future to promote your uh, progress, uh, please don't hesitate to call upon us. You are entitled to all the resources that we, that we make available. All right? So congratulations. that we're all running from and to, but there's nothing more important than this one. I also went over and paid a visit to H209, oh. <laughs> where the event was last year. So we always operate on our, our memory. <laughs> but thank you, it's lovely to see you all. And um, I want to thank Livia for asking me to say a few words to you today. Um, congratulations, first of all, to all of you on the occasion of your graduation. Let's have a round of applause for you. It's a very momentous uh, time in your careers, and your preparation and plan to move on, I hope, is solidly in place. This is just the foundation and just the beginning. And I, my hope is that you'll continue to develop your college and career and your higher education experiences here at BCC and move on beyond and go on and come back and teach eventually, come and give back to the program at the other end. But as you know, and as President Sprague always says, education is a lifelong pursuit and it's important that this be just a beginning and not the end of anything, a commencement in the truest sense of the word, a beginning of your your next step. Um, I did want to share with you a few tips 
that I've learned along the way in the proud tradition of commencement, um, and a few rules of success, if you will indulge me. Before I do that, I would like to thank Livia for all of her hard work with the ESL program coordination and all of your fine faculty for the yes. excellent work that they do. They have worked very hard on your behalf, and of all the faculty on this campus who work so hard and are so passionate, there are none as passionate as those who work with ESL students. That's right. Right. It is a labor of love for them, I know, every day, and I see it, because they go above and beyond, and their hearts are in it 100%, and always are. And uh, they rank among the very finest faculty and staff that we have. And you can be proud to work with them. They've given you the best experience anyone can have here and anywhere else. Uh, so here are some rules for you to keep in mind. Trust yourself. What I mean is that you get so much advice from so many quarters, sometimes you don't know which direction to turn. And you might think it's more important to take the advice of an elder, a more experienced person, someone who has more knowledge in a particular area, but fundamentally, you must listen to yourself. And you must trust what your own instincts tell you to do. Uh, they are right, you are right, and you must act in response to the mission that you feel inside of yourself. You must find some quiet time to hear that and hear your inner voice. And then you really, really need to trust yourself. My second rule, don't be afraid to fail. Take enough risks so that you do occasionally fail. And understand that that's part of life. That's part of your journey. And it is an indication that you're trying hard, an indication that you're stretching yourself. If you never fail, you haven't, you've lived a little too safely. So take some risks. And understand that that's part of the whole plan. And you don't want to be too, too well behaved. Right? <laughs> My next rule, don't listen to people who say you can't do it. Those are called the naysayers. Those are people who want to limit you, who want to keep you in a box of some kind, or who don't themselves trust the world enough. You must believe that you can do it, because you can. You really can. Anything you dream of, you can do, I and mean, you can accomplish with enough time, and so don't take no for an answer. Another rule, the next to last one, work as hard as you possibly can. Invest yourself fully in everything you do. Throw yourself into it and work harder than you could imagine that anybody would want to, would think was wise, or would think was responsible. Knock yourself out in anything you do, you will be successful. But you've got to go beyond where you think you should stop, where normal people stop. You've got to do what President Springer does <laughs> and work in an extraordinary way, and you will have extraordinary results. I promise you that. And finally, break the rules, even my rules. You, again, back to number one, you've got to judge for yourself. Ultimately, this is your life. We trust you with it, you trust yourself, and you won't fail. I wish you all the best in the world, and congratulations again. You go with the great trust, respect, love, and commitment of all your faculty and staff in this college. And we're here to help you when you want to come back and consult. It's a, a lifelong relationship, so please do come back and let us know how you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, I would like to invite uh, Diane Manson. Um, over to the podium. She's um, one of the ESL instructors in the program. She's also the chair of the ESL department. And um, yeah. thank you, Lydia. Hi, everybody. Well, we are here at the end of the semester, right? 
Sometimes I never thought it was going to come, and other times it seems like it went like that. It's summer, sort of. It's warm, more or less long, right? <laughs> and I look back at what a challenging semester this was for ESL students, for BCC students, for all students and people who live in Massachusetts this winter, right? Uh, week two, we had snow day number one, snow day number two, and it kept going until April, we still had snow. So every day, you were bundling up in your coats and your hats and your boots and driving in the snow and waiting for the buses in the freezing cold. But you came, it didn't stop you, right? Nor did all the homework <laughs> stop you that you had to make up all of those missed snow days, so your instructors kept giving you more and more homework, right? So the snow didn't keep you down, and the homework attendance was nearly perfect in my classes. It's amazing. You always did your homework. Sometimes you weren't smiling about it, but you did it, right? So I just want to say that I we all are very, very proud of you. Yeah. And we think you're amazing. We want to know why. We ask why. Why are ESL students so motivated, so determined, so courageous? I think about, I think that ESL students understand that education changes lives. They understand that the first step to getting an education in the United States is learning English, and that this step is going to prepare them for more opportunities for themselves and also for their families who mean so much to them. Imagine those of us who are not ESL students. Imagine what it's like to leave your country, your family, your friends, your culture, to move to a new place, to enroll in a college in a new language, right? Imagine the courage that that takes. And then look around you and look at these people who are so determined, so motivated, and courageous. So the New England winter could not stop you, that's for sure. So now you are ready for your next step. You're moving on, whether it be to new courses, careers, better job opportunities, better way to support your families. So I want to say congratulations. And then I also want to say thank you. I always say that my, I learn more from my students than they learn from me. I learn languages, cultures, I learn religions, different ways of looking at things, different values, different foods, of course. But it's even more than that. I was thinking just this morning as I was driving to work and trying to write this speech in the car, oh, I was thinking how this is a very, very difficult time. I think, in the United States, a very difficult time in the world. You turn on the TV, you see violence, you see wars, you see disasters, you see suffering. Everything seems so negative. And people start to think, should we just give up? Should we just give up hope on the world? Are people just not good? And I would like to invite these people to come to my classroom see our students working together, different races, religions, ethnicities, all together, working together, sharing together, helping each other. So I will always have hope for the future because I work with people who believe in the future. They believe that life is going to be better for them and for their families. So I thank you for that. Summer is finally here. I hope we have beautiful weather 
And I want to say congratulations, you guys are really awesome. Thank you, Diane. It's all so true. Yes. Um, lastly, um, last but not least, I would like to invite Rachel um, Moin. She's um, she's graduating. She's finishing the ESL program this year, um, and she will say a few words. I can hold Anna if you would like. I don't mind. Um, uh, words of encouragement um, to our students, our ESL students, and um, Have, 
You have to keep moving forward until you make your dream come true. I hope everyone will have a successful life. Thank you so much.
Well, congratulations. I want to make sure that you enjoy, continue to enjoy learning. Love learning because it will help you understand the world uh, much better than you can understand. So continue your education. Oh. Congratulations to all 2014 ESL students. Um, I'm so happy for you. I wish you all the best and I enjoy having you in my classes. Hi ESL students. I want to congratulate you. We're so proud of you. Good luck in the future at Bristol Community College or wherever you may be. And please stop and see us. We want to hear all the good news about how you are successful at the next level. Congratulations. the time everyone's been waiting for, um, other than the refreshments outside. <laughs> uh, we're going to ask our ESL instructors to please come forward so they can hand you your certificates of completion. Um, before we, we do that, I just would like to, I could just not say anything. Um, so. I would like to obviously congratulate all of you for this huge accomplishment. Um, like many of you, all of you, I, I have been in your shoes. I have to learn a second language, and it's not, it's not easy. Um, and in addition to that, there's so many, any, many other obstacles that you have to overcome. Um, you are mothers, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives. There's just life. Uh, many times gets in the way, but you overcome it all, and your accomplishment today is is a huge success. Um, so I'm very proud of you. Uh, congratulations! This is the beginning of you know many great things to come, I'm sure. And uh, we're always going to be here. You know where to find us. We're not going away. Um, so if you need anything, don't hesitate to come back and ask us. We'll, we'll help you in any way we can. Okay? So I, I, I wish you a wonderful future. So, <laughs> so several of our graduates couldn't be here today. We have 25 ESL gradu uh, students graduating this year, but unfortunately, um, for one reason or another, some of them couldn't be here. Um, but for those who are, uh, I would like for you to come forward and receive your certificates. Um, I see Amina Sharif. She's not here? No. Sorry. Anna? Um, Anna told me she wasn't going to be here because her son is not well. Anarleth Cabral is here. Is Anita here? Anita Barrows. Um, Karina Afonso is not here. I don't see her. Jazida? Yes, she's here. Jazida Diawara. Is Gabriel Gonçalves here? Howa? Conde? John? Antunes? Juan Royos? I see you. Juliana Fontora.
Roy Gerard here. Lisaika Arzola. Masusa Abdel Jalil. Rachel Mui. Simone Fidalgo. but not least, Swellen Silva da Cruz. I'm sorry, I skipped the name. Maria Islam. I apologize. did not call? I think I called everybody. So once again, congratulations to all of you. And please stay with us. We have some refreshments, you know, out in the hallway that we would like to share with you. So once again, congratulations. Job well done.